armory station was where most of the weapons in the metro were made. There had been an arms factory located above, and after the nukes fell, many of the workers settled here. I was looking for Andrew the Smith, but he found me first. Stand still! Hey, loosen up! It's a human! Kill the light already! Okay. Well, you look human! <laughs> That's all that counts! Come in! This is a free station! game in town, so keep yourself below the radar. You understand? Yeah, sure. Just some friendly advice. I actually appreciate it, thank you. <laughs> attention! Attention! Document inspection is currently being carried out at the armory. Please stay at your registered residences and assist the law enforcement personnel in their work. Be vigilant, comrades! The enemy never sleeps! Soviet Russia? Here. Sounds like a very charming to live with. Face to the world, this is an inspection! Hey, come on, quit harassing me! I don't swing that way! <laughs> Got the bolt yet? Prepare for inspection. <laughs> I'm always prepared for this! Uh, doctor, could you check my... Shh. Hush! And who are you? The comedian's boyfriend! Put your hands out! You're under arrest. Okay! Alright, alright! Lay off! I'll come quietly. I'm gonna kill him. Go! Let's get them! Come on, follow me! Be careful, idiot! God left oh. in our world. That day, he was with me. I had been rescued by Han's friend, Andrew the Blacksmith. He would prove to be my ticket out of the communist station. Oh, that was hectic. But the only way goes through a goddamn battlefield, the front line between the Reich and the Reds. You'll need a disguise. Take these overalls, put them over your clothes. The Reds are rounding up the volunteers to storm the Nazi fortifications. They're about to send a train full of new recruits straight into the fire. But you will be riding the train unannounced. 
Your seat won't be first class, but you don't have to pay the fare with your own blood either. <laughs> Once the troop train has passed the roadblocks, you're on your own. This sounds so freaking charming. What am I walking on? Oh, hey, look, it's the money again. Ah. Knives, everything you need when traveling in dangerous areas. Here you are. Bullets exchange. That'd be a bad note to mention that, that horrible fear of being buried alive, right? Atu, do you see that luggage hold? Get him to it. Okay. Hey, look! I have a book to read. Huh? So, what do you guys think? Let's go, huh? Honestly, I can't think of anything going wrong. Can you? Hey, Andrew, is it really safe in there? I wouldn't like to see him fall down onto the rails. Not that's no first class carriage. But he's good as dead if he stays. If we go straight to the Bianca, and that's a one way ticket.
on. Why did you join the army? I followed my political beliefs. As for me, I'm here for the dog. How about you? Me? Join the army, they said. See the world, they said. Huh? My father was a Red Army soldier, and his father as well. It's the family tradition. So tell me, Lev, is it also your tradition to lose arms and legs on the battlefield? They were happy to make those sacrifices. <laughs> sure. Drunks and fools are happy too. There's a black capsule in my ammo pouch. What is that? An antibiotic? No. It's cyanide, in case the enemy captures you. What? But... God forbid suicide. I'd go straight to hell. Listen, altar boy. A Nazi prisoner is going to hell anyway. Trust me. The pill is faster. I could never take my own life. Then give me your pill. I'd rather swallow two than rot in one of their stalags. Even the apocalypse didn't stop us from killing one another over ideology. I was about to go through the front line between the Nazis and the Communists. I heard they once fought another war, that the Nazis lost. Right, but back 100 years later. <laughs> oh boy, well, I think we're gonna call it quits there for now. Ah, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, I barely fell off the train. That's exciting. Alright then, um, I'm here next time, folks. <laughs>